Okay, peeps. Okay, peeps. This is a preliminary um, kind of walkthrough of my new rig. I got the Honda BF150. I'm talking fuel efficient machine, powerful, smooth like butter. And uh, it's rigged on a Lumacraft 205 competitor. And it's a, a single console. I believe it's the first of its kind. Thanks to the good people at Lumacraft who said, Yes, Tara, we can make this possible. You don't have to have just a full windshield. So, um, I believe this is the first Often one for this because it's kind of in between um, the space factor of a tiller and a full windshield. So you got a big space here, big floor deck. I don't know if you can see that. It's crazy. Um, the only thing in the way is that uh, console. But the, bet, the, the plus of this is you got all this back deck here where people can stand and drag. We got two wells. This is where the magic happens. I'm not sure if the bass ever made it in there yet. But they do grow fond of each other in there anyway so we don't know but magic does happen in there between them and we got a big well back here giant for walleye dudes musky dudes bass dudes whatever dudes it's giant well i don't know how big it is but you probably put a 50 incher in there massive it's got a high speed pickup so when you're running like though in a hot day the water's circulating for you and it's sucking water in there through the back so that's really helpful if you're a tournament guy. You don't want any dead fish or, you know, you don't want to kill fish. You just want to get pictures and let them go um, later. That's great, the high-speed pickup. Uh, this, can't say enough about the Infinity um, Bluetooth system, man. You can play any music. It's super loud. The beats pump on this thing, and we use it a lot. It scares fish. It's too loud at times, but uh, I really enjoy it. I love this thing because I do love my tunes, as you all know. And um, I got two 10 inch screens rigged on here, both with swing mounts. You can see I'm still not done. Lots of crappy stuff here. Wires hanging, still not tucked away. I've just been on the fly going hard. Um, All treks here, amazing so far. Not sponsored by them, so no BS. It's the real deal. It's good stuff, man. Uh, of course, the Alumacraft 10 foot, well, I mean, uh, a Lumacraft rod locker. This is famous in the competitors because you can get like a nine footer in there. And I fit about 20 rods, I think, up to 20 rods at one time. The rod locker, the holes in there around it, and you can, with rod with rod socks, if you put socks in your rod, you can like double up, maybe put three into one, which is really amazing. And I don't know if you can, people mention that you can get a nine footer in there. So I know Castellano, I think you might even get one in longer. Really helpful for trout guys, musky guys, my musky guys. Um, I love the the coolers. Check this out. What? Here you <laughs> you can put drinks. People always think of me as a Swiss Chalet guy, but I like Popeyes too. Let me have a bite of that. Mmm, that sounds good. Keeps it really fresh in here. Just gonna leave that there for later. Um. Yep. We got another. Cooler over here, old dead leeches. Ooh, kind of stinky. How we got to clean that up? We can put drinks or leeches or both at once. Don't tell people though. They got leeches, leeches mixed with their drinks. Okay. Next, we got two batteries in here. It's how power graph. Sometimes you want to rig them straight to the battery. They'll draw power. Too much power. If you're fishing one spot a long time. As you can see, I got them rigged up to one battery, which you probably shouldn't do. But I'm gonna switch it over. So I'm looking for two bolts right now. Uh, right now I'm getting about um, how many miles per hour? 41 miles per hour, 3,500 RPMs. That's my max RPMs. I got a um, what is it called? A aluminum prop, not stainless steel. They recommend stainless steel. Um, you probably with stainless steel you get maybe 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 miles per hour out of this boat. Uh, I don't think I have the right prop yet. I got to play around with that because. Um, it comes generally with a, stain, a stainless and so this one we gotta play around with I probably get I need to get up to that I don't know 5,000 to 6,000 rpm somewhere in between there I'll probably get at least 50 which is amazing and uh, the waters I fish are pretty pressured so it's really key to be able to move around quick don't worry tiller life people I'm gonna have a 14 footer with a 9.9 .9, um, for you know icy boat ramps uh, getting into tricky places you name it and i just want to really say from the bottom of my heart 
Um, give a special thanks to the H to the Izzo and to the DA for being behind me. Um, gone fishing, y'all got to feel me. And of course, Alumacraft Boats, man. My people, my family, my heart. Um, gotta thank you guys both for really being behind me. It means so much to me. It hasn't been easy uh, making a career out of this. And this type of support, oh man, like so many of my headaches have gone away. You know, back in the day, I'd be like struggling to fix this, fix that, because my stuff was just so beat up and old all the time. Um, you'd have problems, you'd miss work, and it was just so hard to get ahead. And it's just stuff like this that's um, making a dream kind of possible, you know. So thank you so much again, Alumacraft and Honda, to the Izzo and to the DA and my Luma. Oh man, I love you guys. Thank you.